Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we want to take a look at a board game called Lineup. So I got this at my thrift store. So they're usually pretty good about having complete things. I haven't checked it out, so I don't know if it's complete or not. We will find out soon. So it looked like a nice little cheap game. I think I paid just a couple dollars for it. Yeah, so $3.49. So it's worth the review at least, I think. So we'll look at Lineup, the memory game of quick looks and tricky crooks. Let's check it out. All right. We have the game, two to six players, ages eight and up. So, I don't know if it's even taped. I don't think so. Looks like. Oh. All right. <laughs> Let's see here. With the mustache marauder stole the donuts from the bakery, which brunette bandit hijacked the hot rod. Players move through six different crime scenes and get a five-second glimpse of the criminals. <clears throat> Back at the police station, spot the guilty suspect amongst the lineup of lookalikes and win the card. I just find the most guilty suspects and you win. But watch out, special cards might give you or your opponent a lucky break. All right. Check out the components here. Looks like it's in good condition. This is, uh, okay, so we can't see things. It's a little hideaway thing there. There's the instructions. Looks like everything is pretty new. Got some extra bags. So it looks like they probably did play it. Yeah, it has been opened. All right, let's check out the board. So it's going to be a quick overview. I haven't played it, so I haven't read through the instructions. So what I think I will do, I'll post the instructions so you can see it. Okay, so we have some different areas. We have a bakery, car lot, a warehouse, pet shop, the wharf down here, a lucky break, and the bank. And our police station looks like a little lineup right here. One game board, six pawns, six line counters, one security shield, which is this, I'm pretty sure. 16 bakery suspects. Okay, let's check out the cards. Get together. Kind of. Okay, bakery. Got the bank. The car lot. The warehouse. Yep, and it's down here. Pet shop. Try to organize these a little bit. More of a bank. Wharf. And our lucky break cards here. Okay. Looks like everything's pretty so explanatory. I'm gonna guess he just well, let's check out the cards. We have <laughs> this guy, so sort of similar faces. But he has like Hayachi hair here. Um, no Hayachi hair there. Hmm. Huh. Squinting a little bit. <laughs> So they're pretty similar. So this is the bakery guy. Let's check out the bank. Glasses, eyebrows, Let's see anything different here. Furrowed eyebrow. Yeah, furrowed eyebrow. So that's the difference for the bank guy looks like. Maybe down here, car lot. Well, it's pretty obvious long hair, <laughs> short hair. Uh, grimace look, surprise look, or maybe worried look. Okay, and this is the car lot. She's at the wharf. Let's see, so hairstyles different there. All right, Down over here at the wharf. It's at the warehouse. This guy's at the warehouse. Again, different hairstyles. 
different different eyes. And they're at the warehouse. Okay, let's check out some lucky breaks. Move another player to any city street space at any time. Return any face down suspect card in front of another player to the bottom of the matching deck. Look at another. Okay, so all text. Move directly to the police station. Request a line up. Lucky break cards. Um, then we had six pawns, it says. To get your standard generic pawns, let's just grab two. No, just going to stop. All right. So innocence, innocent. It's doubled up with the slide out, I guess. Yeah. Well, they are stickers. Huh. Okay. Let's see if we can fix this one. So you say innocent right there. And these have nothing. Well, oh, what's this? There's got to be a guilty on here somewhere, right? I'm guessing if you don't say innocent, maybe. That means they're guilty, I don't know. Let's put our innocent ones over here for now. Have our dice, our markers. I don't know where we start at. I'm going to put them on the wharf for now. Anyway, guilty. Had to be one in there somewhere, right? We got some blanks. So maybe I am no I'm not missing one. Here it is. And an innocent. So I'm guessing maybe when you guess, you put the card in like so. You're like this person's guilty. And then you flip it over and find out if they're innocent or not. I don't know. Uh, we have some colored chips here. All right, so we have our chips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Suspect cards, all the cards. Ten stands with stickers. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Yeah, so it's always good to get a complete game. Yeah, one guilty, nine innocent, 26 lucky breaks. So it looks like it's complete, which is nice. It's always a plus. All right, let's take a look at the instructions. This is my Mindware Brainy Toys for kids of all ages. Let's see, come in a little bit so you guys can read it. <clears throat> Not too long, it's always a plus. In my opinion, bring it down here so everyone can see. So in case you have the game and don't have instructions, uh, I'm going to try to maybe start doing that. Have the page up, leave it up for a while so people can read it. In case you have uh, lost the instructions to a game you might want to try or picked up for cheap or just picked up in general. All right, so we'll start at the object of the game. I think all, that all page fits in there. Okay, be the first player to collect four suspects cards from each different crime scene by correctly identifying the guilty suspects in the police lineup. Okay, set up. <coughs> Excuse me. Fix the one guilty sticker and the nine innocent stickers to the bottom. Okay, we did that. Shuffle the cards separately. Uh, we don't know what they are, so I'm going to say they're shuffled. Put them in the crime scenes. So on and so on. So they're all there. Each player selects a pawn and a lineup count chip with the same color. All right, so blue and blue. We'll do green and green. And I'm going to set the other ones to the side. All right, so we have these. Place all pawns 
in the police station. So you start in the police station. I'm sure you probably just hold your uh, counter. The one dice. Is it one dice? Yep. All right, one dice. I'm guessing you're going to be traveling around to check out crimes. Let's get back to the instructions. Place all lineup chips in the four spaces in the police station. Lineup chips determine how many suspects will be in your lineup. All players will start with four suspects in the lineup. Your lineup count can never go below three or above ten. So, what's that one us to do here? <coughs> it says, line up the count chips in the four spaces. Hmm. The count chips. Are these the count chips? Or are these the count chips? Okay, so it says to place them all in line four. Four is here. So does this place all line up? So I don't know if it means the other lineup chips as well. <coughs> or just whoever's playing the game. It's a little, a little confusing, but anyways, moving on. <laughs> the youngest player starts play, continues clockwise, playing the game. On your turn, roll the dice. And move your pawn up to that number of spaces on the board in any direction. Initially, you will want to move toward a crime scene so you can view your first suspect. On subsequent turns, you will alternate between moving to other crime scenes to view more suspects and to returning to police station to review lineups. You do not need to land on the exact count to enter a crime scene or the police station. All crime scenes in the police station should be considered a single space. Okay, so single space. So here are your spaces, so you roll, get a six, and then you can move one, two, three, four, five, six. You can continue on, I can stop at the pet shop, get a suspect. All right. Page two here. Any number of players may occupy the same space, whether it is a police station or a crime scene, a city street space, or a lucky break space. All right, so you can share spaces, not a big deal. On a lucky break space, lucky break cards can help you move around the board, help you identify suspects, or allow you to hinder other players' efforts. When you stop on lucky break space, you may draw one card if you currently have less than three lucky break cards in front of you. Read lucky break card and silently determine if you want to use it now or save it for later. Keep Lucky Break cards you are saving face down in front of you. After you play Lucky Break card, discard it by placing it face down at the bottom of the Lucky Break deck. Okay. <clears throat> so Lucky Breaks are all around the board. Like here. So Lucky Break. Read it to yourself. Move to any crime scene. Draw the card suspect if you do not already have one of, from that crime scene. Play it any time. So you can save it, put it in front of you, play it any time. Right. All right, at the crime scene. There are six crime scenes, the bakery, the bank, car lot, pet shop, warehouse, and the wharf. When you stop at a crime scene, draw the top card from the suspect deck to see who committed the crime. Hmm. Okay, to see who committed the crime, really card you draw is your guilty suspect for the visit to the crime scene. You have five seconds to study the suspect. Oh, you have five seconds to study the suspect's face. Pay close attention to details because you will need to be able to identify the suspect later during the lineup. Place the guilty suspect card face down in front of you. Your turn is now over. On your next turn, you may move towards the police station, request a lineup, while the guilty suspect is still fresh in your mind, or you may have to move towards another crime scene if you feel confident that you can remember multiple suspects at the same time. 
Important you may not look at the face down card, suspect cards in front of you. Okay, so so you got to here. That's the green got to here. This is suspect, you have five seconds. Pet stop, you're like, okay, sunglasses, smirk, ponytail. You try to remember these things. It's gonna go face down in front of you. And we're gonna have to get back to the police station to identify that suspect. When you stop at the police station, you may request one or more lineups. If you have at least one face down suspect card in front of you, after completing the lineups, your turn is over. If you're already in the police station at the start of your turn, you may choose to stay there and request a lineup instead of rolling the dice. Huh, okay, so I guess you can just keep trying. During the lineup, you will attempt to identify your guilty suspect from among innocent bystanders who resemble the suspect. To set up the lineup, select one of your face down suspect cards and have another player place the card in the stand labeled guilty. This player will draw additional suspects from the same suspect deck and place them in card stands labeled innocent. Total number of suspects the lineup will equal your current lineup count. Hmm. All right, so make it back to the police station. The other player will take the guilty. Find the guilty tab, wherever it is. Of course, I'm going to find it last. There it is. That's the guilty tab. Make sure you don't see it. Just place it. So for now. Our player place the cards at guilty. We'll, we'll draw additional suspects from the same suspect pile. The total number of suspects in the lineup will equal your current lineup count. So we have two, so I don't know if we draw two more. We're going to say you draw two more. So there'll be three suspects total. Okay, and then we go into innocence. All right, so now you have three. Let's move the stuff around. There's our suspects. The player pre preparing the lineup should keep all suspects behind the security shield. Yeah, so when you're, when you're doing all that, you'll be behind this thing so the other player cannot see. So let's move this up a little bit. So like so, this will be in front of you, whoever's doing the lineup, this will pass around and you'll be able to do all the things that you need to do. Okay, let's come back down, I can read it. Keep all social behind the security shield by being careful that you cannot see any other, any of the suspects. Once all the suspects are in the lineup or in their stands, they should be placed in a random card in a random order facing you. When I was ready, the player lifts the security shield. Focus here. Lifts the security shield. Try to correctly identify the suspects you saw earlier at the crime scene from among the innocent bystanders who resemble the suspect. Read the lineup carefully, select the one suspect and announce who you think it is, is guilty. If you correctly identify suspect guilty, place the suspect card face up in front of you and move your lineup count chip to the next higher number. Okay, so let's say you guessed correctly, like it's her, because you remembered, what did you remember? She has one eyebrow up and she's smirking, so maybe you're like, okay, I remember that. So you remembered it, this goes face up in front of you. So this was the green player. I'm sure these this probably return to the deck. But now, since you add three, it's gonna move up. 
So actually, I think we started here. It's going to move up. So the next time it'll be five cards out instead of three. Probably should have been four that last time. So we'll keep moving up to get more difficult each time you're trying to identify a suspect. You will now have one. More suspects in your next lineup. Return the other suspect cards from the lineup to the bottom of the suspect deck. Deck? Decked? <laughs> to the bottom. Okay, so you're back to the bottom. If you have another suspect card face down in front of you, you may immediately request another lineup. You may continue to request lineups as long as you continue to correctly identify suspects. Once you incorrectly identify a suspect, or you run out of face down suspect cards, you turn this over. If you incorrectly identify a suspect, an innocent, you may look at all the suspect. Oh, you may look at all the suspects to discover the guilty. Return all suspect cards from the lineup to the bottom of the, of the suspect deck. Move your lineup count ship to the next lower number. Hmm. So it gives you a little bit of forgiveness. So if you guess wrong, you'll go down. So it'll make it easier the next time you're trying to identify. Which so I guess helps speed the game up. You will not have one less suspect in your lineup. You may also need to revisit the crime scene on a later turn to get a new suspect card for another lineup. Important notes about suspect cards. You may never have two suspects from the same crime scene in front of you, either face up or face down. Okay, so if you did have one of these, you can't go back to the pet shop and get another one because you kind of have a little bit of an advantage there. So you can't do that. All right, just drop that dice somewhere. Okay. Important notes about suspect cards. You may never have two suspects from the same crime scene face up. So I read that. If you stop at a crime scene in which you already have a suspect, do not draw a suspect card. You may not look at any of your face down suspect cards. Winning the game, the first player to success successfully identify four suspects wins. The player will have four spaces, four face up suspect cards in front of them or her, each from a different crime scene. Okay, so winning the game. First player to successfully identify four suspects wins. The player will have four face-up suspects cards in front of them, each from a different crime scene. So how many crime scenes are there? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, and you only need four. Advanced players. For players who like more of a challenge game, Start the game, line up with the chip at six, and play until one player has successfully identified six suspects, one from each of the different crime scenes. So I have not played it, but it sounds like a, a kind of a neat mechanic. I don't know how well it really plays. So you would all start here. Everything starts here, so you can have four suspects. Roll. You get to move around. Let's we'll say we we'll go down. Uh, go down here towards the wharf. One, two. Lucky break. We'll pick a lucky break card up. Move to any crime scene and draw a card. If you do not already have one, play any time. So I don't know why you just wouldn't we'll do that. We'll go to the wharf. We'll get the wharf. All right, you have five seconds to look at this. So someone's out to count, or you have to count to yourself. I'm sure the other place is going to count to five for you. Take a good look at it. This goes face down in front of you. When you try to get back to the police station, which you have to roll to get back there. So we go one, two, three, four. We're back there. We're going to request a lineup. Then the second player is going to pull out the handy dandy shield here. So they're going to grab four of these. I'm sorry, two of these. Nope, it is four. It is four because you're on the four there. I'm not sure the number there it was four or three. And they're going to take your guilty card, put them on all these stands. Then you have to guess which one it is. So this was a guilty card. 
these guys will be up as well. Just look at which one is. So it's a little difficult to see the difference in some of these. They're very similar. So this one, she has the longest hair and some like white strands in it. So you would need to remember like really close details because these three are very similar. Let's see the difference here is what? Hmm. The chin. The chin is different on this one. The eyes are different on this one. So they are definitely similar. So there's going to be some memory involved. That's for sure. So not a bad little memory game from what I can tell. And the board looks pretty cool for what it is. So it does say time gamed is 20 to 60 minutes, two to six players. So I'm sure more players, it's going to take longer. And depending on how good your memory is, that will also affect how well you do, of course. So that is lineup, the memory game of quick looks and tricky crooks. Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button, hit subscribe. I do appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.